how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick 5 reference points as shown. Select this 4 reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this 2 reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick this reference plane. Then pick reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Make it instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Next. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Draw a circle. Then select the circle. Go to graphics. And associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. Circle on off. OK. OK. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Select the circle. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Make it instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Next. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Make it instance. Name it. Attractor divisor. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. And let's link the diameter parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. Apply. OK. Select point element. Select set work plane. Set this plane. And pick the reference point. OK. Select the reference point. Change the offset value to 300 millimeters. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. Height. Select instance. OK. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this reference point. Check visible. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Name it. Height multiplier. Select instance. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. OK. Change the height multiplier value to 2. And let's link the height parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. Open and close parenthesis. Times height multiplier. Apply. OK. Uncheck shared. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive circle profile. Save the family. Open a new family. And select metric generic model pattern based. Open. 
Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Select this two reference points. Go to filter. Check none. And check reference point. OK. Go to offset. Change the value to 500 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick at this reference line. Select this reference point. Change the normalized curve parameter to point 1. And select associate family parameter. Then select new parameter. Name it. NCP. Make it instance. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the surface. Then select the divide surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go back to adaptive circle profile. Load into project and close. Go to families. Pick and drag the adaptive circle profile. Select place on face. Start point pick here. Pick here. Pick here. Pick here. End point pick here. Select the adaptive circle profile. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor divisor. OK. OK. Height multiplier. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Height multiplier. OK. OK. Then select the repeat. Go to family types. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. Change the NCP value to 0.5. Apply. OK. Perfect. Next. Select point element. Put two reference points to all circles. Pick at the quadrant. Next, select spline through points. Pick here, pick here, pick here. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select the spline. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select the profiles in the first row. Then select create form. Repeat the process.
Now let's test the parameters. Go to Family Types. Let's try to change the NCP value to 0.2. Apply. Perfect. Let's try to change the NCP value to 0.6. Apply. Perfect. Now let's try to change the NCP value to 0.9. Apply. Perfect. Let's change the height multiplier to 1. Apply. Perfect. OK. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.